Hey everyone, in this video, let's check out how easy it is to style and edit our photos using On One Effects. So with this photograph here, I have this distracting element at the bottom, so let me just grab my healing brush to get rid of that before we dive in and style the look of our photo. I'll just use my healing brush there to get rid of that distracting element at the bottom, and then I'm going to crop the image a bit to hone in on our animal subject. I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard to grab my crop tool, pull in a little bit, and we have a bit tighter of a crop there to really focus the viewer's attention in on the subject of the scene. From there, let's apply some stylish filters. We can go into the effects tab and we can choose any of these different filters to apply to our image. But we can also use our Super Select AI tool if we're looking to apply specific filters into specific areas of our photo. I'm just gonna hit K on my keyboard to grab that Super Select AI tool. I can then hover over different regions of my photo. I can select the region and I can apply stylish filters to it if I need to. So let's give some detail to our Arctic wolf there. It's already masked in that dynamic contrast filter into the wolf, making those textures in that fur really pop and stand out within the image. Let's also give a little bit of detail into that bottom section there. We'll make it a bit softer of detail, but we do want those rocks in the scene to stand out. From there, let's grab that background and we'll give it a nice dark glow to create some separation between our portrait of the animal and that backdrop. So we have three filters now, and they're all masked into different sections. We have detail inside of the animal, we have detail on the rocks, and we also have this glow filter for the background. Let's now go in, we'll add a couple of filters to style the image and bring out a unique look. I really like black and white in these types of animal portraits, so I'm just gonna choose black and white there, and I'm gonna leave it just at its default. I think it works really well for this image but you could always open up this more styles menu and find other styles that fit the image that you're modifying. Let's just add one last filter here. I'll use one of my favorites, vignette. We'll use big softy to really focus the viewer's attention into our portrait subject there. And let's check out the original image. We have our original and after with a nice moody black and white style applied to it. That's how easy it is to apply filters and stylize your photograph using on one effects.